We are learning new information tonight about yesterday's plane crash in the Hillsboro Filbert Orchard. Both people on board remain in the hospital tonight badly injured. It is 5 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Tonight we've learned the 88-year-old pilot does have extensive experience in flying. In fact, friends say he used to fly fighter jets with the military. Let's go to our Amy Frazier, who is live in Hillsboro with the latest. Amy? Jennifer, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what went wrong. Meanwhile, friends say they're praying for the two victims. This is the first time I've ever been associated with an air accident. Resting on a filbert tree in Edmund Dykes Orchard is the Yak 52 aircraft that crashed Thursday afternoon. Now we get some more people coming in here. The longtime farmer and his grandson watch as investigators with the NTSB and FAA try to piece together what went wrong in the air. The aircraft was reportedly having engine troubles. It's tough to tell how it came down. Uh, we were talking about maybe it cartwheeled because you can see where the wing imprinted, but. Um, I mean, clearly the tree took a lot of the brunt of the impact, and uh, luckily there's some give with that versus the ground. Investigators say the pilot is 88 year old Bill Avolio of Hood River. He's a volunteer with Classic Aircraft Aviation Museum in Hillsboro, which owns the plane. According to the group's website, he's a seasoned pilot who flew for years with the Oregon Air National Guard. He's also a volunteer pilot with another museum in Hood River. Well, it's really, really sad, you know, because, you know, Bill's a good friend of all of us here, and he's a real nice guy. Hope he pulls through and is okay. The pilot is listed in serious condition at a Portland hospital. You know, he accepts the risk and all that. You know, it's just flying small airplanes can be, there's an inherent, you know, bit of danger, but that he just accepts that as part of it. His passenger, 73 year old Gary Hagstrom of Canby, is in critical condition. Well, I hope they heal up and. It's heartbreaking. I mean, to, to think of these guys that have, you know, lived great lives and to have this happen to them. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't wish that on anybody. The investigation is expected to take some time. We'll keep you posted as we continue to learn more. Reporting live in Hillsboro, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.